Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Larry Bennett. I'm here to talk about uh, the uh, book that I've uh, finished in the last year. It's entitled The Third City, Chicago and American Urbanism. The first city, Chicago from 1860 to 18 to 1930, to the, uh, from the uh, uh, eve of the Civil War until the beginning of the Great Depression, was a city of uh, extraordinary population growth. As we all know, uh, this, this boom Chicago of 1860 to 1830 was a city that was built on an industrial economy. The first city was also the city in which we observed the emergence of machine politics. The second city uh, runs from 1930 to 1990. Uh, this is a city in which the population levels off and begins to decline. Uh, the second city was a place of economic crisis. It was a city of economic crisis because of a variety of trends that by the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s was causing its industrial economy to wither or to relocate, and in a variety of ways we're still dealing with the consequences of that economic crisis. The second city was also a place in which we observed the rise of a political machine that is the dominant Cook County Democratic Party. The third city is the Chicago we live in, which I am dating roughly from 1990. It is a central city whose population has stabilized. The third city is uh, demographically a black, Latino, and white city. Or, as we frequently forget, it is a city which has a majority-minority population at this time. The third city is a city which uh, has made the turn toward a post-industrial economy. Uh, the third city has uh, made that turn more successfully than other Midwestern cities such as uh, uh, Detroit or Cleveland or Milwaukee. But the post-industrial economy that we have in Chicago is also what one of my colleagues calls an hourglass economy. There is a portion of the workforce that is very well paid and lives a very good life in Chicago. There are large numbers of people working in service sectors in the local economy who struggle on a daily basis and who have been particularly hard hit by the uh, economic recession of the last few years.